I'm sure you can see that, but here's some really good bones sticking out of this concretion. Have a look at that. And there's more. There's another piece over here, and it's got a bit of a curve to it. This is really good, whatever this is, I think.
and it's all done. <laughs> the fossil turtle skull is prepped. Look how big that thing is. Like it's, it's human sized. <laughs> it's so weird working on it with those eyes looking at you the whole time. I've really enjoyed working on this one. Uh, the bone's so dense after that penguin um, where the bone was really fragile. This one was a dream to work on and it did really well with the acid. The acid got into all those little nooks and crannies and cleaned out the, um, the sediment. Uh, my measurement is 19 centimeters wide and from the tip of the nose yeah, about 21 centimeters you know from the tip over here of the snout to the back over there it's it's really a big fossil the only challenge it really had while I was prepping is was this crack over here I don't know if you can see it but there's a crack that went straight through there so I had to fix that up with some some glue over there otherwise it was really easy to work on is there something weird about an animal skull like this where the eyes are so human? <laughs> it reminds me of like a mask. And then it's got this thing. Have a look at that damage over there. I wonder if something tried to take a bite out of it. Very triangular shaped bit there that went straight into the skull. It's also quite cool how the bones got different colors. So you've got the dark patch over here and over there, and then you've got a lighter patch going through the middle, like across the eyes. The next step is to get the CT scanned. The CT scan will give us a really good 3D model of this and maybe even tell us if there's some other bones inside the concretion there. These little bits of rock are from the same concretion and when I spot a little fossil in them I try and remove it in one piece so there's a tiny shell over there here's that weird toothed looking thing and there's another shell in that one I think there might be a shell in here as well or a few fish bones those could be used to give a bit of context or dating on that main fossil so I'll keep them as well Thanks so much for joining me everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this prep, I really did. This is such a cool fossil, this is probably my rarest fossil yet. I don't know of any other turtle skull of this size that's been found in New Zealand. So cool. <laughs> Stay safe out there, I'll see you on the next hunt.